This is going to be a no-nonsense guide to setting up mods for Bone Lab on both Quest and PC. It focuses on both types of mods being SDK mods like 711 and code mods like Bone Lab Fusion. This tutorial requires a PC even if you're using Quest, but the PC does not need to be good. Something as weak as a school laptop will get the job done. The PC is also only needed for initial setup, or whenever Bone Lab updates. If you're on standalone Quest, you will also be expected to be in developer mode with SideQuest setup. If you haven't set that up already, there will be a link at the bottom of the description with a tutorial on setting up SideQuest. Final note, if this video becomes outdated, the title will indicate that, along with a link to an updated tutorial in the description when one becomes available. Now, if you're on standalone Quest and aren't using Quest Link to play on your PC or using another PC VR headset, skip to the timestamp on screen now to start your guide. PC players, keep watching from here. Click the first link in the description and the Melon Loader installer will automatically download. Open the installer and you'll be greeted to this Melon Loader installer UI. If you own Bone Lab on Steam, you should see it in this list of games here and you can simply click on it. But if you don't own Bone Lab on Steam and maybe own it on the Meta Store, you can click Add Game Manually and then you're going to locate your Bone Lab EXE. Double click on the Bone Lab EXE, which may be named something different depending on the platform you have it on and it will show up up here, click it, and you'll be able to patch it from here. Once you have Bone Lab selected, go ahead and change the version to the version stated in the description next to the Melon Loader link. At the time of recording, we currently use 0.6.5. Then all you're gonna do is click install, it'll download it, and it'll let you know it successfully installed it with whichever version you selected. Next, click the second link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for a mod called Bonelib. Simply click on manual download. Next, head to the third link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for a Thunderstore Mod Assistant and you're gonna wanna click manual download here as well. Now, we're going to locate your Bonelab EXE. If you have the game on Steam, you can simply right click it in your Steam library scroll down to manage and click browse local files and it will automatically bring you to that if you have it on the meta store you will need to find your bone lab exe manually now open the two zips we just downloaded and for bone lib we're going to take this mods and plugins folder and we're simply going to drag it next to bone lab exe if it asks you to replace replace although it likely won't and that now we're done with this zip now on the other zip we downloaded the thunderstorm mod assistant you're going to click on Plugins, Melon Loader, and Mods, and drag and drop it next to your Bone Lab EXE. And replace the files and destination, if it asks, which it likely won't, same as we did with Bone Lib. Now, skip to the timestamp on screen now to finish your setup. First thing we're going to do is set up Lemon Loader by clicking the fourth link in the description, which will take you to the Lemon Loader GitHub page. Make sure the version of Lemon Loader you're looking at has the latest label before continuing. Simply download the Windows installer, which may have a different name than the one in this video. If you're unsure which one to click, just choose the one stated in the description next to the Lemon Loader link you just clicked. Next, we're going to extract this folder. So here it is in my downloads folder. I'm gonna right click it, and I'm just gonna click extract all and extract it right here in the same location. And once that finishes, we'll have this new folder and we'll just go ahead and find the Melon Loader EXE, which may be a little hard to find since there's a lot of things here, but it'll be the one called melonloader.installer.app.exe. So go ahead and double click that to run it. You may get a firewall prompt. Simply just click more info and run anyway if you do. Now that we're in the Lemon Loader Windows app, we're gonna select an ADB device. I've just plugged in my quest and I'm gonna click refresh and you'll see your headset show up. It'll be whatever headset you have. It may not be a Quest 3, that's okay. Simply click use this device. It'll load in all your apps, scroll on down to Bone Lab, and go ahead and click on Patch. This'll take a minute, so just leave your headset plugged in and let it do its thing. Once it's done, you'll likely get this Unable to Restore prompt. That's okay, simply click on Yes, and it'll open the folder where it backed up the files that it wasn't able to save. So we'll click on commonstressable0.bonelab, and we'll click on Files. And from here, we're going to want to keep your mods and saves. And for ease of use, I'm just gonna drag and drop them to my desktop. Make sure you don't lose those files as those are your mods and save files. Other than that, you'll see success, successfully patched the application, and we're almost done with setup on Lemon Loader. 
Now here we are on the headset and we're going to go ahead and click on Bone Lab and you'll get a prompt typically asking if you want to restore the app. If you ever get that prompt, just make sure you click open app here and never click on restore as it will likely require you to restart the entire patching process and reinstall your game. You'll get this little allow this app to manage your files and storage. Simply tick the allow access and click continue. Now during these three dots, make sure your headset does not go into sleep mode. You must wear it this entire time until you finally see the Bone Lab logo show up. Until then, make sure your headset remains on and is staring straight here. If your headset does fall asleep, you may need to restart the entire patching process again and reinstall your Bone Lab. Once you get to this point, you can close the game. You don't need to wait for the shader cache to restart. Now, go ahead and connect your headset back to your computer and we'll finish up from there. Next, click the second link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for a mod called BoneLib. Simply click on manual download. Next, head to the third link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for Thunderstore Mod Assistant and you're going to want to click manual download here as well. Now we're going to open SideQuest on our PC using the advanced installer and in the top right we're going to open manage files on the headset. We're going to click on that, we're going to scroll down till we see Melon Loader, we're going to open that com.stresslevel0.bonelab, click on that, scroll on down to mods, and it will likely be blank. What we're going to do is we're going to take the bone lib zip you just downloaded, we're going to open the mods folder here, and we're going to drag and drop bone lib to our desktop first so it extracts, and then drag and drop bone lib into side quest. Now we have bone lib installed. We're going to do the same thing here for Thunderstore Mod Assistant. We're going to open up mods, drag and drop this to our desktop, and then drag and drop it into the mods folder. Then we're going to go back to com.stresslevel0.bonelab. Now we're going to open our plugins folder. Simply click on plugins. And now in this bone lib folder, we're going to go back up. We're going to open plugins, drag it to our desktop, then Drag it on into plugins. That'll finish up. And we're going to do the same thing with Thunderstorm Mod Assistant. Go back up, click on plugins, drag and drop it to our desktop, then drag and drop it into Thunderstorm. Or side quest, sorry. Boom. Now we're going to go back to com.stresslevel0.bonelab and we're going to open the melon loader folder. Now we're going to go to Thunderstorm Mod Assistant zip again. We're going to open this melon loader folder and we're gonna drag and drop managed to our desktop. And then we're gonna drag and drop this right here to the root of this melon loader folder. And it should be here. That's how you know it worked is if this manage folder shows up here next to all these other folders. Now then final thing we're gonna do, we're safe to close those two zips, is we're going to go back to SD card, click on Android, data, scroll down to com.stresslevel0.bonelab, files, and we're going to delete this saves folder. Just straight up delete it. And we're going to re-put the saves folder we backed up earlier in here. And we're going to do the same thing with mods. Although mods is optional if you'd rather just manually reinstall them in game. That's what I recommend doing as it's generally a easier option and will result in better syncing with fusion. Sometimes it causes issues if you do it manually. It's just recommended. Not required though. If you want to drag them back, you're free to do so. These last few couple of steps are the same on all platforms. Click the fifth link in the description and you'll be taken to the game section of Mod.io. All you need to do is click the little profile icon for my account and log in with whatever you choose to log in with. And if you don't have an account, you can use one of these to make an account. Now inside of Bone Lab, at the main menu or void G114, head over to mods, understand except chaos, then go to downloads and Mod.io and you'll be given the option to log in to Mod.io. Simply click on Mod.io login, and it'll fetch a Mod.io code. What you're going to do is you're going to go to mod.io slash connect. Then you're going to enter the five digit code displayed on your device. In my case, it's DMF T7. And it'll be connected. And then you'll have a download all button. The way this download all button works is very simple. Simply click subscribe on any mod you would like to download. And then in Bone Lab, simply click on download all and it'll download whatever you are subscribed to. In my case, Test Chambers is now downloading. 
Finally, the last way to install mods is to open up your menu, go to preferences, and you'll have a new thing here called bone menu. Click on that, and then click on Thunderstorm Mod Assistant. This is how you can download code mods such as Bone Lamp Fusion and Ragdoll Player. In my case, I'm just going to download Ragdoll Player. I'm going to search for Rag, and here's Ragdoll Player, and I'm going to click Install. And then it'll say Restart Required. When I restart my game, I will now have the Ragdoll Player mod. You can also check which mods you have downloaded by clicking the Thunderstore icon, and you can delete any mods you don't want by simply clicking on Uninstall. And when you restart your game, that mod will be removed. You are now free to experience Bone Lab modding in all of its glory on all platforms. Final notes, each time Bone Lab updates, you'll likely need to manually clear out your code mods folder, as code mods typically cause major issues when Bone Lab updates. If you're on standalone quests, you'll likely need to reinstall and repatch your version of Bone Lab each time the game updates, so make sure you back up your save before reinstalling if you're here because of a game update. If you discover any code mods that have issues, please report it as an issue on the Thunderstore Blacklist GitHub so that I can add that mod to the Blacklist until it's updated and working to prevent other people from having issues and not knowing what's going wrong, especially if it crashes the game. It is the sixth link in the description, please use it, because when I blacklist a mod that doesn't work, it will automatically delete it from people's games as well, so if they're having crashing issues, their game will suddenly magically work again. Feel free to share this video around to give an easy and simple guide to people who might need it to set up all types of Bone Lab mods, and also because I like money. Final final thing before I let you go, you can get 10% off the entire quest store using the link in the description. It's free money for you if you plan on buying a game on the quest store, so you might as well take advantage of it. Bye bye fat bitches.